I'm Shadi Styles and I'm back with another video. So it's almost Mother's Day and I wanted to make a unit for my mother because she's always trying to rock mine. Nah, I'm just kidding. Well, she does. Every time I make a new wig, she's like, oh, let me see how it looks, whatever. But, um, yeah. So I'm about to just make her a wig. We're going to be twinning. I'm making her an identical wig to mine. Not this one, a different one. I'll show you guys that later on. But yeah, I just thought I would show you guys a little bit how I construct my wig. Today I'm using my handy dandy mannequin, Kyle. Say hi, Kyle. <laughs> I'm using a spandex foam cap. Her unit will be with a closure. I'm not doing a, um, I'm not going to be doing a frontal like I usually do because, you know, she doesn't have time to be gluing stuff down and all that. She wants to just get up, put it on, and go. So that's what I like closures for. I like closures when it's just like a simple unit that you want to be able to wear like every day without having to do anything to it. So this is from my line, Cashmere London. This is one of our closures. And I love, like, look at this. Look at that. I haven't done anything to this hair. I haven't washed it yet. I haven't done anything. This is just how it comes. It's so beautiful. This is our Brazilian Street. So if you're interested, you can check my website out. That's www.shadesons.com. That will be in the description box as well. I'm going to be using three bundles of our straight Brazilian hair. Okay. So these bundles are in the inches. What are we doing here? Oh, we're doing 22. 26. All right, guys, so let's get into this unit. I'm showing y'all my finger. I hurt my finger, y'all. I slammed it in my friend's car door, but that is not going to stop me from slaying this Mother's Day unit for my mother. So right now, I'm just stitching down the closure to my spandex dome cap. You want to make sure that you're sewing really close together. You don't want there to be any gaps, okay? You want it to lay nice and flat so you can slay. So I always do one side first, then I go over to the next side, which you'll see in a second. And then I go ahead and I connect them in the back. So, you know, real simple. Just take your time, stitch nice and close together. You see? Stitch nice and close together. And now you're going to connect them in the back. Just like that. Connect them in the back. Hey, hey, just like that. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. But y'all know what I mean. So you see how it's nice and neat and all together. I'm just going to sew down that little part right there. And we're going to be on our way to our bundles. Alright, so here we go. The first length that I'm using is our 26. Yes, that's 26 inches of pure, beautiful version Brazilian hair. Okay. And you need to make sure you get you some because this hair is flawless, y'all. Like, get into this hair. Alright, I'm just having a little difficulty because I don't never cut the rubber band off. I always unravel it. I don't know why but anyway I'm moving right along so you're just going to measure and start stitching. You want to make sure your first stitch lines up with your closure so that hair can just be nice and flowy. You don't got to worry about nothing when the wind blows. And yeah so I always double and sometimes triple knot my first stitch because you want it to be nice and secure. Your foundation is every Thing. foundation I said foundation you know I teach but yeah your foundation <laughs> is everything so I'm just showing y'all up close there goes those three to four stitches and now I'm gonna proceed to stitch around the base
Okay, guys, so this part is really important. You're going to have two lines going down your dome cap, two stitches that's already um into the dome cap, two stitches you'll see all points in them in a moment. You want to make sure that you do not stitch on that line. It's very important that you don't stitch on the two lines that's coming down vertically, and you don't want to stitch around that entire line that goes around the base of the um dome cap because your dome cap will not give it will not stretch it'll be super tight you won't be able to get it on so that's a big big no-no do not do that just skip over leave a little space in the thread and continue to sew where there's just material okay you don't want to stitch over that um marking Okay, so now we're almost to the front. We're almost completed with our first row. And that wasn't so hard, was it? Aside from my finger hurting. But, yeah, it's not hard. You just want to make sure. Now we're getting to the front and you want to connect the end of your bundle to your closure. Remember, we don't want any gaps between our hair. No gaps. So you're going to just keep stitching, stitching, stitching until you get to that closure. Connect it. Then you're going to do the fold over method because we're not cutting these bundles. We don't want any shedding. So you see that? We're going to stitch to the closure, double knot it, and then you're going to fold your track over and continue stitching, doing the same exact thing the opposite way. And I'm just showing you how close my stitches are because this is going to ensure that your unit lasts for years, okay? I know people, some people glue their units, but to me, that's just a waste of hair. I mean... You want your hair to last, right? So why not just take the extra time to stitch it? Okay, if you don't know how, ask a friend or a family member, but you want to have these bundles for as long as possible. So here I'm just folding over, stitching very close together, because the closer you stitch, the flatter your bundles will be. Look at that. That's flawless. Look how flat and neat that is. That's what you want. Okay guys, so we finished with our first bundle and I did those single rows and now the second bundle I'm just going to double my weft. I always do that. I go single, double, single. I don't know why or how I started doing that, but this works for me. It makes sure that the hair is nice and flowy. It's not too bulky or not too thin. This just works for me. So here I am. I'm about to start stitching. Again, I connected the wefts. This is my second bundle. I'm going to start at that closure. Right? We're starting at the closure. We don't want any gaps. So you just connect your two pieces and you make your and you start stitching. So double knot or triple knot that first stitch.
Okay, so moving right along, we're almost finished with that second bundle. Yes, honey, we are almost finished with this unit. We are about to slay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, we're about to slay. So we're finishing up our second bundle. Then we're going to go ahead and add that third bundle, honey. And then we're going to be on our way. We're about to go outside. It's hot outside. What? It's number 18. Who? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't ready. But y'all better get ready for these bundles, honey. Okay, so we just got to finish that little gap with our last bundle and then we are done. So I just wanted to show you guys what it's looking like. That's that third bundle. And now you just want to try to straighten it out. You're not so much going into you, you want to start to straighten it out, okay? So we can have a straight line meeting our closure. Alright guys, and now we are finished. I love this unit. It looks so good. I can't wait to see my mother's face. I know she's gonna love it. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. I hope you love your new unit. And um, I'm gonna insert a clip of me with mine. And I hope you guys had a happy Mother's Day. We did. Love you guys. Bye. And here's my unit. Me and mommy are going to be twins. And guys, guess what? My unit is three years old. So you definitely get your money's worth at Shadi's house.